Hello, I'm Daniela Mitterberger from Grammatio Kohler Research at ETH Zurich. Today I'm very happy to introduce our project Interactive Robotic Plastering. Augmented Interactive Design and Fabrication for On-Site Robotic Plastering. IROP is a system enabling designers and skilled workers to engage intuitively with an in-situ robotic plastering process. In the past decade, robotic fabrication in architecture, engineering and construction has made remarkable advances, leading to significant improvements in production and opening up new design opportunities. However, most robotic construction processes are based on well-defined and linear sequences of actions, where the work environment, materials and processes are unambiguous and predictable. Construction processes involving complex or soft material systems, such as concrete, plaster or clay, face many challenges that make their automation difficult. An example of such a difficult to automate process is plastering, as plaster is a complex material which is difficult to simulate and predict. One potential solution to the difficulties posed by materials such as plaster would be a balanced combination of human interaction with robotics and digital technology to enable automation. This paper presents such a system, IROP, which enables users to engage intuitively with an in-situ robotic plastering process. The proposed method utilizes the user's hand movements to program intricate robotic spray paths, thus capitalizing on the embodied knowledge of designers and skilled workers. The system developed here allows users to design complex digital models in minutes, rapidly generate multiple design alternatives and instruct a robot by demonstration. The system architecture of iROP consists of a computational setup allowing for a stylistic filter selection, a user interaction tracking setup with projection mapping for the interactive design mode and a robotic fabrication setup for plaster spraying. The user and the robotic arm are situated next to each other where the 3D design is first interactively designed and then fabricated. The user follows a routine of alternating between interactive design and fabrication sessions. Furthermore, the system is designed around three different key modes that assist a user, starting with stylistic filter selection, followed by interactive design mode, and finally the robotic plaster spraying. Before the start of the interactive design mode, the user can choose different stylistic mapping methods, which we refer to as stylistic filters. In IROP, stylistic filters are applied to translate and remap analog human input into robotic output, such that it complies with material and machine constraints. After selecting a stylistic filter, users can use the computational model in the interactive design mode to localize, design and adjust. The user then can decide if they want to continue designing or move on to the fabrication mode. At the core of the interactive computational model, is the tracking of the user input, remapping of the analog human input to robotic output, and generating of trajectories for the robotic arm. The hand's position in space is translated to robot target planes. The hand distance to a target surface is translated to end effector distance to a target surface. And gesture velocity is translated to velocity of the trajectory of the robot. An example of a physical result of a stylistic filter is the carving effect. The remapping of the hand distance to a target surface in this case translates into a smaller end effector distance. Therefore, the end effector, in this case the spraying nozzle, is closer to the wet material, leading to the carving effect, as the air pressure from the pneumatic spray gun displaces the still wet material. IRA provides an audiovisual guidance system to instruct the user while operating the interactive design mode. The audiovisual information changes when the user switches between modes. The on-site projection mapping of the design step displays fabrication parameters such as information on current interaction mode, robot reach, hand distance and a number of sprayed layers. In many process steps, the user needs to direct visual attention to the construction site or the robotic manufacturing process. To overcome the limitations of purely visual cues, we developed an audio guidance system to signal certain events. The audio guidance comes in form of voice cues and tones, alerting the user to major events such as the start of the system, the successful localization of the system, and the change between the different interaction steps. Welcome to the construction site. Please mark the points on the ground. Points are marked, projection is starting. You can start drawing. 
To validate the feasibility of the proposed method and to evaluate and clarify for real application of the interactive design system, we focused on two studies with different user groups, designers and skilled workers. The first group, the designers, tested the interactive design model by developing their own filter system that included a hand drawing, a pattern, tweening, sculpting and an agent-based filter. Afterwards, they used a custom tweening filter to build 110 square meters of articulated base coat plaster work over a period of 10 working days. The interior space demonstrates how IROP can be used to design and fabricate novel forms of three-dimensional plaster work. To assess how designers and skilled workers perceived IROP, we conducted a user study. The field study with designers and a qualitative user research with both designers and skilled workers helped to understand the potentials and qualities of IROP and proved that such an interactive fabrication system can be effective in architecture scale fabrication. The effectiveness of IROP is due to a real-time interaction which was easy for novices to understand. Our system provides an easy integration in standard design and robotic fabrication processes and offers solutions especially for non-standard and personalized fabrication tasks. IROP can adapt to fit users' experience, opening the system up to be intuitively used by designers and skilled workers. And finally, IROP is suitable for many complex material systems that require manual dexterity and direct observation. As future steps, we want to continue to develop stylistic filters. Furthermore, we aim to test different visualization models for real-time interaction. By extending the on-site interactive design with a teleoperated design system, we could further extend collaboration possibilities between skilled workers and off-site designers. Currently, our robotic system is moved manually and our tracking system has a limited reach. Therefore, we will focus on including a fully mobile setup for plastering as well as a better motion capturing setup with a broader reach. Finally, our projected augmented reality system is limited by the field of view of the projector. To overcome such drawbacks, we aim to test a mobile projector able to reorient the projected image according to the new field of view. Thank you very much for listening.